Hey everyone, welcome back to Life Prepared. I told you I'd show you how to make one of these um, little wrist lanyards or keychains, key fobs, whatever you want to call it. They're very easy to do. So let's get started. A couple of things that you're going to need is approximately eight feet of paracord. I actually found paracord at, of all places, the Dollar Tree. It's actually pretty decent stuff. It comes in 25 foot um, hanks. So what I did is I decided to get three from each one. So this cord is actually cut at eight foot four inches, which is one third of the original strands. You're gonna need a pair of scissors, some type of measuring device, a key ring, and you may find it helpful to have some packing tape. First thing we're going to need is the paracord. We're going to go ahead and measure down approximately five inches. This is going to be the part for your hand. You're going to tie a simple overhand knot. Okay. Before I tighten it down, I like to measure it because sometimes it's too long, sometimes it's too short. It's just easier to fiddle with it now than later. There you go. About five inches here. Next, take your key ring or split ring and you're going to measure down. Let's turn it this way. Going to measure down about six inches from the knot okay just get an idea where that's at and then I don't need this any further this is where the packing tape comes in handy I like to secure this to the table because the beginning parts are quite fiddly and it just makes it a little easier I want to make sure I have the two center strands where the knot is in the middle and one strand on either side you're going to take the one side, come up between the two strands, and then go back through the rope itself, like so. This is just going to secure it to make sure, by the way, that the split is up. Because if not, once it's inside, it makes it a little more difficult to fool around with it and get it out. Okay, we're going to do the same on the other side come up underneath just the one side yep. and back through the ring and we want to keep them fairly level as level as you can it doesn't matter if it's off by a few millimeters or something alright and tighten them down and that's the beginning here the rest of this is pretty simple and it goes rather quick you're gonna make on this side, kind of like a P shape, you want to cross over this side here. You're going to go under and then under the center and pull them tight. Not too tight, just firm. You're going to go to the opposite side. Make the same curl. You're going to go the course over here it's a, a cross so you're going to go in under under over and tighten it up back to the other side I just like to cross it kind of lift slightly go under here over here and tighten it up back across and through. Now if you happen to get lost, get distracted, the side that you need to cross over is the one that comes out underneath this knot here. Not this side, this side. So I'm going to cross this one over and this one goes through. And you just keep on working until you get to the end here. Now, I call this a wrist lanyard. 
when I mentioned lanyard, I was not talking about the kind that goes around your neck. I will not wear one. I had an experience many years ago when I was working in a hospital. I had a confused patient who was sitting in a chair, and I went to start an IV on him, panic, and grabbed a hold of my lanyard and would not let go because he was upset. He didn't know what was what I was doing, why I was trying to hurt him, etc. And it put me in a very scary position because I realized I could not get away. You know, I'm literally trapped by my neck. So if you choose to wear a lanyard, at least be safe. Find the kind that have the breakaway clasp on them so that you don't have to worry if somebody grabs a hold of you and now you can't get away from them. The only issue with that is if they grab you from behind, they're still, you know, going to be able to keep you there because the clasp isn't going to work in that case. Once again, if you get lost, you need to come out, cross over with the one that comes out from underneath the knot. We're going to keep working this down till we get to the knot here. Like I said, these are real simple. It doesn't take much time. They make great gifts. I've had several requests already for people to send them. Now that I'm getting a little further down, I like to take the tape off. If you like, I don't, but you could. You could, you know, just adjust it here so you have more access down here. I think when you first start them, it's easy to do it that way. But once you get going and you get a little further down, it's not quite so fiddly. Strings are a little bit shorter. Anyway, we're going to continue this down. And I just wanted to tell you, I have a couple other things coming up. I'm going to be doing a, a few things on Christmas, with Christmas coming. I have mentioned in my intro, I'm on a very limited budget. But I enjoy giving to people. I enjoy giving to people a lot. So, I'm going to make a few things, such as these wrist lanyards here. Because... I have several people in my life that um, I want to give some gifts to. These are nice for women as well as men. I have show you a couple things when I get done here. A couple gifts to add to it that are going to be quick and simple. If people are interested in learning how to do them, let me know. I will be happy to do a video. We're getting down near the end. As you can see, it really goes quite quick. I'll bet you I haven't even been here 10 minutes yet, and, you know, I'm just about at the end. So, we get down towards the end. You still have to make sure we're crossing over. Now that they're shorter, you just have to make sure you're getting those little ends tucked in. I can make it a little bit tighter if I want. I like to take mine right down to the very bottom here. You could leave a gap if you like, but I like mine finished as close to the knot as possible. And it should be one more. I don't think I can sneak another one in there. Oh, yes, I can. Sneak one more in here. And that's it. All right. So I tighten this up as quick, tight as I can. Definitely don't need this tape anymore. I like to give it a good tug to make sure that this is really tight here. And, oh, I forgot one important thing to tell you guys. You're going to need a lighter. Little sneak peek at the other things I can show you how to do. Sorry about that. All right, I'm going to snip these off. Give myself about a quarter of an inch or so. And you need the lighter here to secure your ends. All right, you just melt them. And I use the side of my lighter to push it down. You don't want to grab a hold of that, believe me. I've done it. It's hot, and it sticks, and it burns. And you say some bad words, and I don't like to say bad words, so don't grab it. Anyway, all right. That's it. It is done. It's secure. It's strong. Looks good on both sides. Makes a great gift.
couple of those things I was going to show you, I said I had a little teaser here. If you have somebody who likes to carry extra things and maybe they don't want them in their pocket, I carry a lighter with me. I don't smoke, but you never know when it's going to come in handy. And living in Michigan with this terrible weather, I definitely need a chapstick. As you know, I've got that smaller purse, and now I can carry my chapstick. So if you make a gift, you could add a couple things like this onto it. And I had another idea. Take a pill bottle. I took sandpaper and took the name off the top because I didn't want to look at it. You could put a mini fishing kit in here. You could put a mini first aid kit in here. You know, I could think of a lot of different things that you can put in here once it's been decorated up like this. So, if you're interested, let me know. I'd be happy to do another video. These are very quick. Uses up the paracord. You can get them to match if you'd like. You can make them separate. This together takes up about 8 feet of the paracord. So, from one strand like this, I could get the wrist lanyard, I could wrap a chapstick, a lighter, a little first aid kit, and still have some to spare. One other thing I wanted to show you, it's just as easy as making this one, is the twist. Uses the same knot, it's just done a little bit different. If you're interested in learning how to let me to make it, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Tell me you want to learn how to make the twist. Tell me what you think about this. Is this something you can do? I think just about any age can make a gift like this. Think about the people who could use something like this. Men, women. Maybe you have a teenager who needs to carry a few things and they always lose their key. They can keep that handy in their backpack. Let me know, everybody. And don't forget, find joy in today. I really, truly believe that we have to make our own joy, and I want you all to have as much happiness as I do. Have a great day, everybody.